And when I was in the back room with this security guard, she ended up taking off her uniform and things got insane. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. So today's story all takes place back in my actual high school years, actually in grade 11. Now in grade 11, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was a major player. I'm not joking when I say this. If the thing was walking, chances are I would do the devil's tango with it. I know that sounds really bad in YouTube. Please don't take that out of context and make me seem like I'm like some kind of criminal. But I will say this, I was a major player and pulling girls was my game and i remember back when i was in high school there was a moment where i'm not gonna lie to you there was this one girl at my school that was considered a really really bad influence i am not joking when i say this a lot of girls did not like her because she would act really i guess in a way sketchy not like sketchy like she would draw on herself like sketchy like she would want to do illegal things all the time now for some reason me back when i was in grade 11 i thought this was kind of attractive i thought it was really hot how this girl was a bad girl so i remember one day i ended up walking up to her saying hey like what's going on i remember she looked at me kind of disgusted and said what do you you want nothing i'm just saying hi i don't know why you gotta be so rude about it leave me alone like you're not even at my level and she ended up walking away now when someone tells me that i'm not on their level i get i take offense to that personally so i remember the next day i decided to do the same thing i ended up walking up to her and basically trying to riz her up again saying hey like i should get your snap is what i told her instead of just saying hello she looks at me and she said baba name one good reason why you should get my snapchat uh here's one because whatever you can do i can do better she ends up looking at me and laughing and she's like was that supposed to be like some kind of man joke uh no no, it's just the truth, I guess. By that moment, she ended up smiling at me. And well, I guess it did kind of work because she did give me her Snapchat, but on certain terms. She said, Bubba, today after school, meet up with me. Wait, why? Like, I'm busy after school today. I don't know if I can like actually meet up today. Meet up with me today or I'm going to block you. Okay, okay, okay. I'll meet up with you. So I remember after school that day came around and basically I ended up going to the front of the school. Now, my school was close to a mall that was really close by. And this mall was well known for having a lot of teenagers and students there because well it was so close to a school so i remember me and her after school that day we met up and she instantly starts walking with me towards the mall now i thought that this girl wants to do like a traditional date where we sit down and eat at the mall food court and just talk about ourselves and basically her trauma dumped me about why she's so sketchy boy was i wrong because i remember once we got to the mall we instantly started going to a bunch of different stores and i didn't understand why we went to different stores and one moment she was beside me and the next minute she was gone and then she ended up actually showing up out of nowhere beside me and told me to leave the store as fast as possible so me and her we ended up leaving the store together and then she ended up handing me things that she bought apparently 100 percent, this girl did not buy the things that she was giving to me i could tell because one who puts lipstick and a bunch of like clothing in their pants without paying for it like like this girl didn't even have a wallet like that's how confident i was that she was basically stealing and stealing is not a good idea by the way no one steals it's not a good thing to do and i remember i ended up like basically kind of confronting her on it saying yo you know you're stealing right like we can get in serious trouble blah, blah. These are all like huge corporations. Like they're not going to miss one lipstick. They're not going to miss this blouse. Like they're all just like little things to these corporations. If I take this, they're not even going to care. She kind of missed the point of what I was trying to say that stealing in general isn't good. But at the same time, she did have a point. Not saying you should steal. I'm just saying her points were pretty cool. So one thing led to another. I remember things got really awkward. And I remember me and her, we just kept going to a bunch of different stores. And it got to the point where I'm not going to lie to you. My backpack was getting heavy. And as we were walking around, I remember there was this one mall security guard that was walking around the mall and she was a lady that was i'm not gonna lie she was actually pretty attractive i'm not gonna say she was ugly like it blew my mind how she was a security guard but she was basically walking around the mall at that time and over time and time again when we would walk past her she would notice that my backpack was filling up with a bunch of different things and one thing led to another we ended up getting stopped by the security guard she ends up looking at both of us before we entered our next store and said excuse me can i ask what's in your bag at that moment when she asked what was in my bag instantly this girl that was sketchy that i was like you know originally trying to talk to literally sprinted and ran away she ran away and sprinted and this security guard did not care she was more focused on my backpack so she stood there looking at me saying well can i see the backpack please at that moment i knew i was busted i knew that i was gonna get in serious trouble for something that i really didn't do in reality i was just an accomplice but obviously i wasn't panicking at the time i ended up just putting my backpack down kind of worrying and she ended up going through my backpack and said did you pay for these do you have a receipt um no to be honest with you like they were all stolen i'm not gonna lie to you she ends up seeing how I was trying to be really nice and just like, you know, be straight up with her. She respected that, but she wanted to talk to me in another room. So me and her, she ended up basically like guiding me to like these like corridors where it kind of looked like the back rooms of the mall. And basically I sat down at the security station where there was like kind of like an interrogation room. Now I sat there 
kind of worrying and after like 10 minutes of leaving me in there she walked in saying uh can i get your name uh my name's bubba and uh how old are you uh, i just turned 17 turning 18 next year okay interesting um bubba i have a question yeah what's going on well all these are stolen you do realize that right yeah i i know uh to be honest with you like the girl that was with me earlier she stole them all and like she just told me to put in my backpack i thought she bought it at first but i knew she was lying and like i i really didn't mean it and then one thing led to another i remember she told me i either had the choices of calling my parents or i get arrested and i told her that i did not want to do any because obviously i was a teenager at the time i was kind of scared and i didn't want to get in serious trouble so she looks at me again and says okay well i can give you a third option and that's when it happened the most insane thing happened where she ended up standing up and taking off her uniform and she said well are you gonna join me or what and that's when we did it we ended up doing the devil's tango literally in that interrogation room as if we were like in like like a video on the devil's hub and i started like being mind blown that this was even an option like does everyone get this do i get special treatment like i didn't know what was going on but we ended up doing it and then one thing led to another i remember her walkie talkie that was on the floor because she took off her uniform ended up basically beeping and i guess that meant like there was like a shift change in like security guards so she ended up basically getting ready as fast as possible basically getting ready faster than i did and she left she literally just just left and said I was free to go. I ended up walking out of there and I had my backpack still and it was still full of all the stuff. So she didn't even really care about that. And one thing led to another. I ended up leaving the mall. And right as I left, I get a Snapchat from the girl saying, Baba, like, thanks for like covering for me here. Meet up with me here. So I ended up meeting up with this girl that was the sketchy girl after. And she looked at me and saw me with all the stuff in my bag. And she said, wait, you have everything still? Yeah. Like I said, whatever you can do, I can do better. And well, one thing led to another. Well, me and her, we ended up talking and we ended up doing the devil's tango as well later on. Kind of insane how I pulled two girls on the same day, one by accident, one by purpose, I guess. But this just goes to show that if you subscribe to this channel, you can fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.